Good evening, everyone. Let's bring in Dr. Muhammad Walid Opinala, a Palestinian doctor currently based in the United Kingdom. Thanks for joining us this evening. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Let's start the Global Affairs Insider. Residents of Northern Gaza Strip have only animal feed to eat for past three weeks, says head of Gaza's government media office. How serious is this concern? Can you help us understand this situation more clearer? Yeah, just to understand this, my friend, is that because um, the Israeli are preventing any aids from getting inside Gaza and they are putting a, a, a siege on all over the or, or the Gaza or whatever left of it and they are allow, allow nothing to enter uh, without their permission and they said that if any uh, any aids go inside without their permission they will bomb it and they will attack it so um, I was heard from many friends that there is lots of uh, trucks are waiting on the line on the borders um, and without having no permission to enter. And thus the people are suffering from uh, hunger and they don't have anything left to eat. So you are talking about, as we said, like more than three months has been um, uh, this, um, even four months now, this war has been going on and there is no uh, kind of supplements from uh, food or water or any even medical uh, or medication so that's why they have run out of all options and they just can start to eat animal food so you can imagine how much how much is is the uh, situation is so hard there and even there is some children has died not because of bombing not because of um, lack of everything just because they don't have food to eat. At least 29,313 Palestinians killed and 69,333 injured in Israeli attacks on Gaza since October 7, 2023. The revised death toll in Israel from the October 7 attack stands at 1,139. How do you feel about this data? I know it's hard, but any message to the parties involved? So I just want to say what is enough and what number is enough for this madness to end um, is, and how far it has to go for when we are talking about these kind of uh, huge numbers um, and even children has to die in this war uh, without do anything about it at the beginning when 7th of october happens they were saying about 40 children's beheaded babies were um, uh, were being killed by the 7th of october attack and we didn't see any kind of evidence and most of uh, the newspapers and the media has to apologize about it uh, because there was no proof or evidence of, about what was going on. And the, we could say that the world was uh, that went crazy about how this kind of inhuman and it's horrible and it's against uh, the humanity and everything. And now we're talking about more than 10,000 children being killed. And we can see it by, your own, by our own eyes with uh, videos and pictures and even live. Um, and the world is basically just watch and not interested to say anything or do anything about it. So it can tell you the whole story, my friend, is that it seems that the human are not really kind of equal as everyone is saying in, 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 in the United Nations or whatever. And it seems that the politics is always the strongest who can control the media and can say whatever they want. And no one else can uh, be attention about the, uh, the one who's being under oppressed and the people being killed in, in, in Gaza, especially the civilians and the children, um, when you are talking about these, these huge numbers. So yeah, I'm really sorry about this. And um, I just wish this uh, nightmare and genocide can end soon. Dr. Muhammad Wali Obeidala, thank you. This is Dr. Reiron Del Rosario, 
That's the Global Affairs Insider. Follow us to our next episode only here in IPDCI News Channel.